In the journal today, as the death toll rises in eastern Ukraine, a call to protect civilians. Russia's neighborhood policy comes under scrutiny in Paris. A warning against reprisals for denouncing torture. As fighting between pro-Russian rebels and the Ukrainian authorities continues to intensify in eastern Ukraine, Amnesty International has renewed its call to both sides to protect civilians. Amnesty says that numerous civilians, including children, have died and that the lives of many more are in grave danger. Pro-Russian separatists in Donetsk and Horlivka are using heavily populated areas to launch attacks and pro-Kiev forces are returning fire. PACE President Anne Brasseur has said that violence and terror directed at civilians can never be justified. In her recent meetings with the Ukrainian authorities, she highlighted the need for transparency and accountability for any human rights abuses committed, whether during the Maidan or in Odessa, the east of the country or elsewhere. President Brasseur has joined other Council of Europe leaders calling for the immediate implementation of the Minsk peace plan by all parties, including the Russian Federation, and for respect for the territorial integrity of Ukraine. The Parliamentary Assembly's Monitoring Committee on Russia's neighbourhood policy towards other Council of Europe member states has met behind closed doors in Paris. The committee exchanged views with Ukrainian delegation members and also heard from co-rapporteurs on Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine. A man who alleges he was beaten by police and tortured while in police custody in Turkey has won his case at the European Court of Human Rights. Musa Etesh Olu complained about the excessive length of criminal proceedings against the police officers concerned and the fact that the resulting judgment against them was suspended. The rights of Denmark's German minority in South Jutland, the only recognized national minority in the country, are well protected. However, the latest report on Denmark by experts on the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities says that discrimination against Roma and Muslims is still a reality there. Council of Europe's Anti-Torture Committee has warned states against intimidation and reprisals against those who denounce ill-treatment. In its annual report, the CPT details cases in various countries, including Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Greece, Hungary, Moldova, Russia, Spain, the former Yugoslav Re Republic of Macedonia and Ukraine. You can watch an interview with CPT President Latif Husseinov on the Council of Europe's Twitter feed. That's all for now. Keep informed via Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. From me and the rest of the team, goodbye.